Hello everyone! Welcome to Joanna Will Say. Today we're going to talk about different skincare guide and tips for hot and humid weather. But before we go on to that, don't forget to subscribe to my channel and click on the bell to get updates whenever I come out with a new video. Before we move on to the guide and tips, I want to talk about transepidermal water loss, which is also known as TOOL. TOOL is the amount of water that passes through our skin and evaporates into the air. This is our skin's natural process and extreme weather like the summer heat can affect more tool. Since tool is our skin's natural process, we cannot stop it. But there are different ways that we can do to manage it and also to lessen the water loss. I talked about dehydrated skin in one of my previous videos and I also mentioned that the more we lose moisture in our skin, then the more it will cause it to pump more oil and your skin will become more oily. Use sunscreen. Well, it's not only summertime that you have to be using sunscreen. You have to apply sunscreen every single day. Now I know that you are probably staying home most of the time because of the quarantine. Even though I stay home or even if I work indoors, I still apply sunscreen. The UV rays can pass through glass windows. Applying sunscreen is really your best protection from the harmful rays of the sun. But when it's summer, our skin can produce more oil and also we sweat most of the time. And what we really want to do is we want to mattify our skin, we want to remove the oil. Our skin naturally produces its own oil to moisturize itself and also to protect itself from the outside world. I used to suffer from very oily skin and ever since I started cleansing my face with just water in the morning and using my cleanser only at night from producing a lot of oil, now my skin just produces the right amount of oil. Make sure that your cleanser is gentle. Every after cleansing, if it gives you that dry, tight, and squeaky clean feel, then that cleanser is too harsh for your skin. Try to look for products that have humectants. Now these humectants are the ones that they attract water, they attract moisture. Some ingredients that are humectants are aloe, glycerin, hyaluronic acid, there is also honey and propolis which I really really love. Whatever is your skin type, it is important for you to moisturize. Moisturizers have occlusives. These ingredients are the ones that, that can help seal dehydration and could really lessen the transepidermal water loss. And also, moisturizers also have ingredients that are emollients. These emollients are the ones that can help um, smoothen your skin and it can also help repair your skin. Now, oils are not only for those with dry skin, but they can also um, benefit those ones that have oily skin. You just have to know or you just have to choose the right oils for you. If you have dry skin, Choose oils that are high in oleic acid, such as olive oil, avocado oil, sea buckthorn oil. These, these oils are thicker. Then if you have oily skin, choosing oils that are higher in linoleic acid, like hemp seed oil, rosehip seed oil. These oils are drier type and they are not too heavy for those ones that have oily skin. Look for ingredients that can help regulate your sebum production or your oil production like niacinamide and zinc. Ever since I discovered niacinamide and zinc, it has really improved not just my oily skin but also my acne. Vitamin A and vitamin D are also known to help regulate sebum production. You can also consume them by um, having them in your diet and also um, taking them 
through your supplements. If you have reached this part of the video, thank you so much for sticking with me. Don't forget to subscribe and click on the bell to get updates on my channel. If you like this video, hit the thumbs up button and share it with someone who might need this information. Thank you so much for watching. Eat healthy, stay happy, and take care.